Elizabeth, you are very special to me. You are my best friend, my love, my headache, <laughs> my shoulder, and my rock. You have asked me many times what I love about you. And today, I'll finally tell you. Michael, from the moment we ran into each other, after all those years of mutual admiration, I knew we were on the verge of something amazing. And here we stand today, professing our love, taking this step of faith. I want to be your friend forever and ever. When the hills are all flat and when the rivers run dry, when the trees blossom in winter and when the snow falls in summer, when heaven and earth mix, not till then will I be apart from you. Reaching out to each other as a friend and becoming the confidant and companion that the other needs is the true magic and beauty of any two people together. It's inspiring in each other a dream or a feeling and having faith in each other and not giving up, even when all the odds say to quit. Michael, in you I found a soulmate, my best friend, my heart's desire. You are my smile, my center, my everything. You have brightened up my world with your love. And for that, I thank you every day. She has always been there for us when we needed her most, and she was always there for her family. She may whine about things, and for those of you who know her, you know she can whine. But she has always held her family and friends very close to her heart. She even postponed completing college so that she can care for her father in his last days. He always put me and all my well-being first when no one else did. The fact that we are standing here today facing each other is unreal to me. And I will be forever thankful that I finally found you. Do you, Michael, take this beautiful woman, Elizabeth, to be your wife, your partner in life, your one true love? In the presence of God, your family and friends, do you promise that you will cherish your union and love her more each day than you did the day before? Will you trust her and respect her? Will you try to make her laugh and not make her cry? Will you love her faithfully through good times and bad? Do you promise to give her your hand, your heart, and your love from this day forward for as long as you both shall live? I do. Las pequeñas cosas son las grandes cosas. Nunca se es tan viejo para sostenerse las manos. Es recordar decir te amo al menos una vez al día. Es nunca ir a dormir enojados. Es nunca hablar con el otro solo por ser condescendiente. Es hacer cosas por el otro, no en actitud de servicio o sacrificio, sino en espíritu de gozo. Es hablar con palabras de apreciación y demostrar gratitud de maneras consideradas. Es no solamente casarse con la pareja perfecta, sino ser la pareja perfecta. Liz. I know your dad is not here today to walk you down the aisle and give you away, but just know that he is here in spirit and he is overjoyed and proud of the woman that you have become. Thank you for making me feel like the luckiest man in the world. Thank you for being who you are and for accepting me the way I am. I love you. Thank you for saying yes. Thank you for becoming my wife. Wow. You have brought the best in Mike, and he is so happy to have you around. We look forward to watching your marriage grow. And as you know, that when you marry Mike, Marry all these guys as well. Oh.
Anyone who knows our group of friends knows we like to drink and have a good time. In our partying days, Mike actually patented our signature dance move. It's called the Meat Slicer. You'll see you later. So I know everyone here is ready to party, test out your meat slicing skills. Let's go, warm it up. Mike, Liz, we all wish you so many years of love, health, and happiness. Salud. With this ring, I marry you. I marry you. All that I have. With all that I have. And all that I am. power vested in me by the great state of New Jersey, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Yeah.